All right, uh, Thursday afternoon here. As you can see, there's not much snow around here. It's just dirt and mud. But uh, I think we might go and, go and try and go for a snowmobile ride. I don't really have high hopes. It's not gonna be a real ride, but there might be some snow on the logging roads and uh, maybe a little bit off the side in the bush. We'll uh, see what we can find. All right, got my helmet, some gloves. I think we'll just go like this in, uh, in the workwear, throw on my snowmobile boots. Super nice out this afternoon and that's pretty much the only reason I want to go out for a little ride. If it was crappy, I definitely wouldn't be going out. But uh, what do you guys think? Should I do some videos in this thing or? I feel like that'd be kind of boring. I don't really know. Yeah, as you can see, there's uh, not much snow here. We'll just drive up the road a bit. We get to a whole hundred meters of elevation change, I think. Maybe not even, but oh, look at all that snow. We'll, we'll see what we find. I'm almost to where I'm gonna unload and uh, there is definitely less snow than my last ride last year on April 17th. Um, I thought this was gonna be my first ride at home this year, but I actually remembered it. I came up to the same spot and I don't remember why, but before I went out west, and that was my only ride here. Well, what you see is uh, what you get. There's at least, oh, come on, really? There's at least snow on the road. Oh yeah, look at all this snow. I think we're gonna need our scratchers. Well, it looks like we got our first dirt patch. I decided to just wear my uh, work clothes, but I hate not having knee pads. I totally forgot about that. And I smashed my knee today, so it's feeling really nice. You know, if all you want to do is come up here and trail ride, this would actually be still a pretty good trail ride. There's like, that only spot of dirt has been the only spot so far. So I really can't decide what snowmobile to spring order here. I guess we got about two weeks left. And, <coughs> oh, Corona. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I guess there's like two weeks left and I can't decide between the free ride 146 and the free ride 154 turbo. I don't know. I was leaning towards 146 pretty hard there for a while, but then I really want a turbo. So, I just don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Whew, okay, try that again. I don't know why I didn't just turn around like a normal person. All right, let's try and get some sweet side hill in action. Some nice pow carves going in here or what? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's some really good stuff there. Yeah, there is definitely a lot less snow compared to when I was here last year. I think last year I actually got stuck right here. And it was up over my knees, almost waist deep. April 17th, and uh, I'll put a little clip into that. Well, on to the next stop. Let's see the nice trail into here. Oh, 
Look at this nice ditch. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! I'm trying to think of something cool to do, but it's kind of hard to do anything cool when you got uh, eight inches of snow. Okay, maybe we got a little bit of dirt on this second half. It's like enduro snowmobiling. Be real good, my sled goes upside down in the water hole. Okay, the part of the trail that was road was good. This part's a little, uh, a little hairy. Should we go in there? It looks kind of deep in this hole. I said to myself I wasn't going to go in here. I think we can make it. I'm going to go right in the trees on the other side. Shit. I'm wet. Should we go see how the lake is? I was thinking I was going to take the side by side out on the lake again this weekend, but I think the ice is falling apart pretty quick. I guess that's it. This is the uh, last ride of the year. It was uh, interesting, I guess you could say. <laughs> but I was just happy to get out on a nice weeknight after work and uh, enjoy it. That's what it's all about, right? And with everything that's going on in the world right now, <laughs> come out here and uh, get away from it all for a bit. You know one thing that's really nice about the Munster riser here? It's got built-in clips. So 5400k on this sled. Let's say I did another four or five hundred on uh, this sled I borrowed for like four days. 